Hi, this is Sue Cunningham, President and CEO of CASE. Uh, and it's my pleasure to be reaching out to you today here from my living room with my dog Wombat. We'll see how long she stays calmly on my lap. I wanted to start off by saying how much I appreciated all of the messages I received after my last video message from volunteers and members around the world. In this strange and challenging time, it's wonderful to have heard from so many of you and to have that sense of continued connection with the CASE community that has meant so very much to me for all of my career working in educational advancement. As we go through the weeks of uh, this, this very different world, I'm sensing a change and a shift as I talk to members uh, around the world about their experiences and their institution's experiences and what they're going through. So if I think about the first few weeks of this crisis, it felt like we were very much focused on crisis management, on how to get our schools, our colleges, our universities through this complex and very unprecedented environment. And whilst, of course, in many respects, we are now still working through a crisis, it feels to me that we're now moving into another phase, which is a phase where huge innovation and creativity and planning is happening as we work through how to most effectively steward our organizations through these unusual times. And I'm seeing real innovation uh, and thoughtful work happening in institutions, hearing about universities that are turning their student call centers into resources for their communities, for example, institutions that have done crowdfunding around specific initiatives, whether it be around research or supporting students, institutions that are shifting the focus on their on their uh, giving days around caring for their community and caring for the students and the critical work that those institutions are doing. There are many pieces of innovation I'm seeing and of course one of them, a critical one of them, is seeing this shift to working in the virtual. Uh, in a conversation the other day with one of our graduate trainees, they were talking about preparing for their first virtual meeting with a potential donor. And as we as we do connect virtually, learning the skills and the thought that needs to go into how we're connecting and how we're engaging, which is so much at the heart of the work of advancement professionals in every aspect of what we do, whether engaging with alumni or donors or the media or internal communities or external communities to our institutions. And it's one of the things that advancement professionals working together with their academic colleagues and institutional leaders are so incredibly impressive. Of course, uh, one element of what we're experiencing now is hearing about, about human tragedy and personal tragedies. And my heart goes out to anybody who is experiencing those in, in this context. And again, that sense of case strength and case family and case community feels more important now than ever as we work through this journey and come out the other side, as I know we will, stronger uh, and more connected than ever before. And having learned a great deal about how we can strengthen our strong experience of interpersonal connection and professional connection in person with the virtual and how that can strengthen our offerings. And certainly at CASE, a core part of our work right now is developing those virtual offerings, which will strengthen our capacity to support our members through this period. But I honestly believe the things we are learning now will strengthen our membership offerings for the long term. And if you'd like to learn more about those, please do go and look at our website at case.org. So I'll sign off now together with my dog Wombat, but in so doing, can I wish you all well and safe and thank you for the incredibly important work that each and every one of you does to advance education, to transform lives and society.